Okay, so on Friday, party leaders came together to discuss how we can fast track legislation, the remaining pieces of legislation that mean so much to so many people, whether that be the organ donation bill or um, access at safe zones for abortion services. Um, there's so many pieces of really, really significant legislation that need to be got over the line. So the, we had asked as a result of, of that meeting that the Chief Whips would meet this morning. That meeting has now happened. Um, and again, that's to continue that conversation around how we can fast track legislation. John, as our Chief Whip, uh, put a number of proposals to the meeting that would allow the fast tracking of legislation, um, whether that be um, reducing the number of speakers voluntarily, where that may uh, suspend um, other uh, non-essential business to allow the legislation to be very much focused on. Uh, I understand that the um, that the speaker will now put a paper to the parties which will actually detail some proposals and I hope to get that done as a matter of urgency because this is not business as usual. Uh, there are things that we can do uh, and that are that we can work together. We can fast track these pieces of legislation but there are also equally things that we cannot do. Uh, this, we, cannot, uh, we don't have the ability to agree a three-year budget to invest in the health services, to tackle waiting lists. We don't have the ability to invest in our cancer services or mental health services. And that's all due to the self-serving uh, interests and the actions of the DUP, which is reckless and in the face of you know, the, days, the things that weigh heavily on people's minds right now, whether that be the cost of living crisis or some of the other things that I have um, referred to. I made it very clear to Brandon Lewis that he and his government have facilitated the DUP and their recklessness. Uh, that they are caught up in this whole protocol uh, discussion and they have sat back and allowed the DUP to jeopardise all the things that the rest of the parties here want to deliver upon, which is you know, good public services, which is tackling health waiting lists, which is agreeing a three-year budget. I put that very directly to him. I said that my priority for now was to work with the other parties to fast-track the legislation. But I think given the uncertainty that lies ahead on what the British government's next move may be, then I think it's important that we bank as much legislation as we can any democratic process in the world, whenever a partner in government walks out, um, it, the, the natural answer is an election. So that's why we've said, let's do what we can do now, but then we should let the people have their say.